Hello everyone and welcome in to this uh, little painting tutorial I'm going to put together for everybody. I know painting car skins and wreck fest is something a lot of people like to do but don't really know how. But hopefully this will help you at least get started. Uh, we're going to start by going to the uh, Steam Workshop. Which is right here. You'll go to Library. You'll go to your game. You'll click on Workshop over here. Brings you to here, then you can type in search wreckfest. Just type in painting. And there you go. There it is. You'll just click on this. And you'll click subscribe. And when you do that, it'll download it. And once the download is complete, you're going to navigate over to your mods folder that Steam stores all your wreckfest uh, mods in. And make sure you take note of this little ID right here because that's the folder that you're going to look for when we go over to that. So it ends in 732. And to get there, you'll go to where your Steam directory is, which mine is on my F uh, drive. Then you'll go to Steam. You'll go to Steam Apps. Then here's Workshop. You'll go in there and then you'll go to Content. And here is a list of all your mods. It doesn't look like much here because it's just a bunch of numbers, but this is where I was noting back over here on Steam where you're going to look for the certain file. So you're going to look for this number right here. Might help if I subscribe to it. I just already have it in my mods folder, so I didn't subscribe. Okay, now it's done downloading. Let's find it real quick. Here it is. It's right here. And if you go into Wreckfest right now, you're going to see it there, and it's going to have a green little star beside it, and you can activate it, but it's not going to really do anything. So what you're going to want to do and to edit these files so it shows up in Wreckfest, you're going to right-click on this file. You're going to copy it. And then you're going to go back to Steam. Oh, too far. Go back to Steam Apps, go to Common, go to Wreckfest, and this is where your Wreckfest game is installed. And you want to go to this mods folder right here. Okay, once you're back over here, you're going to want to uh, right click and paste it in here. And there it is. You can rename this anything you want to. Uh, it, won't, it won't hurt it, whatever you name it. But it's still going to show up in Wreckfest. It's still going to say painting tutorial in your mod section of Wreckfest, but it'll, it won't have the green star beside it, which means it's not on the Steam Workshop. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already have this uh, in this folder. It's just a direct upload and I haven't modified it. So uh, just rename this whatever you want to, and that's where we will go next. Okay, once inside that folder, you're going to see these three. Uh, you're, the only one you're going to deal with is the data folder. Then you're going to go to Vehicle. Then go to 01 American, which is going to be the uh, Speedbird, but which that's what we're going to paint today. Uh, we'll work on other cars later, and we'll get more into detail. This is just going to get you a pretty basic knowledge of how to paint the skins and how to get started. Then you'll, once you're in here, you'll go to Art. And here are your six files that you will need to paint a car in Rigfest. These six right here. And that is where we will start. This will be in your folder. These will be all you need to do. You don't need to go hunting through any other files. Oh, so we will start here. So the C5 file right here is your main paint file. That's where you'll do most of your work. Uh, what paint you put on here will show up on the car. Uh, the damage C5 file is what your car will look like when it's wrecked. So let's say you you hit something on the track. If you don't want modify this file, it'll just change back to the normal file. And, and you won't see your new paint skin whenever you hit something. So we will modify this too. Uh, the end files, this one and this one right here, those are texture files. So that shows kind of like what your sheet metal looks like in game, whether it's dented or smooth which these two here are completely smooth. 
uh, and the S files right here where we aren't going to mess with those yet. It gets a little uh, complicated when we start messing with those. So just leave all of these four right here alone. We're not going to mess with any of those in this tutorial. Uh, the S files, what they do, they um, determine that it's called a specular file. And what it does, it changes the way your car shines in game. Like if you, you can change it to where your car is just a matte color or you can change it to where it's a metallic color or you can change it to where it's full gloss where it's just super shiny but uh, we'll get into that one probably in the next video but where you will start you will uh, have this file up and then you need to open another um, window and you'll want to just go to your RecFest directory wherever you have it downloaded and installed once you're in this screen instead of going to mods like we did before you'll go to tools and that's what you need to bring up next because you will be using these two right here it's called breakfast and build asset breakfast will break down the files so we can edit them and once you're done editing them you drag them from this folder over to the build asset and it builds it back into these bmaps that you really need because the game only only recognizes bmaps so once we're done with all of our work we'll just uh, build asset and it'll come back over here and it'll be a bmap and you'll be ready to go. So, first thing you're going to do, you're going to take this C5 bmap file, the skin01 C5 bmap, and you're going to drag it over to breakfast, and it'll break it down and automatically put it back over here what you need. So we'll do that now. You'll see that little black box come up, and there you go. It says .t, uh, .dxt5 we're just going to delete that ending part right there because we don't need that. So it just leaves you with the skin01 underscore c5. And this is the file that we're going to open right now. Um, I use a program called GIMP. It's a free program. Uh, there's, I know there's a lot of people that use Photoshop. And I'm sure there's uh, plenty other programs out there that you could use. But I will be using GIMP. Uh, if you do use Photoshop and you're finding this tutorial a little harder to uh, follow because there's some different tools and stuff, uh, the community here uh, at the WCZ, we have a ton of people that use Photoshop. So if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to ask in there, and I'm sure we can get you squared away. But uh, you're just going to right-click on this. You're going to go to Open With, and I use GIMP. And this is what you're going to see as soon as you open it up. And this is where you paint the car. And whatever you paint on here, it shows up in game. Uh, go over to your channels over here. You can click alpha. And that kind of gives you a little better picture of what you're working with. It takes away the alpha layer so you can, you can see a kind of flat image. You can kind of see the hoods right here. And here's the sides. Here's another side. Here's the trunk. Here's the front of the car. And you're going to find on all these cars, these are all different. This is just the Speedbird. So this will take a little getting used to. And you, uh, you, it's a little bit of trial and error sometimes because there's not really a lot of information out there as to what each little thing in here does. But you can kind of guess by looking at the car and looking back at this and looking at the car, you know, just try, and then painting something one color and looking at the car and see what it does. So this is this is kind of fun. I mean, you can really do all kinds of things in here. Um, once you have this up, I'll show you something else that I put in the folder. Let's go back over to our art folder, uh, and I put this up here. It's it's uh, it's labeled custom. Uh, there is a guy in the uh, community there with us that made us a lot of 2K and 4K wireframe skins for us to paint with so instead of us having to paint on this what you're looking at here where it's kind of hard to see the edges and you don't know really where it ends and where it begins he uh he definitely helped us out with this so you'll take this right here and you'll just drag it over on top of your uh image right here and it opens it as a new layer as you see right here, it's above now your skin 01 C5 layer. Now it's just uh, another layer to the skin. Like I can I can look at it or I can hide it and go back to the normal one or look at it and hide it. 
Uh, you can edit this one, but I usually don't. I just use this kind of as a template to see where I need to paint. Uh, everybody does these a little different. So, I mean, you can either just flip back and forth and paint as you go. But what I like to do, a tool in GIMP, like right here, it's called a lasso tool. I kind of trace my outlines of the car. And then I flip back over to this and I paint that section. So I'll, sh I'll show you kind of what I do. But this is going to be the left hand side of the car. This will be the middle of the car and the top of the car. And this will be the right hand side of the car. We'll worry about the rest of this little stuff a little bit later. But we're just going to start with a pretty generic paint job. And I'll see you and I'll show you kind of how it works. So I'm going to start by painting the left hand side right here. I'm going to grab my lasso tool. I'm going to click on this C5 layer right here instead of the custom layer. You'll still be able to see this layer, but you'll be actually working on this layer. So I'm going to click right here. See, it shows this is highlighted. I'm going to take my lasso tool. And this isn't going to be as much perfection as I usually do. This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial, so you kind of get the idea. I don't want to sit here and make this an hour long video, but I'll show you kind of what it does. And all I'm doing is just clicking around, just kind of tracing out the side here. Like I said, I know this is kind of choppy and it doesn't look very clean, but it takes time to make them to make them perfect. So this is just going to be a really quick tutorial. So now that I've got this selected, I'm going to hide this layer. Make sure you still have this one highlighted. Make sure you didn't actually miss the click and you uh, got this one highlighted. Uh, as soon as you got this one highlighted, just go over here to the pencil tool or the paint, or whatever you want to use. We're going to make this a yellow car. So we're going to paint this section. So that is your uh, left hand side of the car right here. As you can see, if you flip back over here, see, now you're painting this side of the car. We're going to paint this other side a different color. This is not going to be a very good looking skin, so this is how it's going to be. <laughs> I'm just going to play around with it. So, oh, oops. All right, now I'm going to get my lasso tool again. I'm going to highlight the uh, right hand side of the car. I'm not going to say on every car, but most cars, if it's just a solid black section, it means it doesn't really do anything on the car. You're not going to see much of a difference if you paint those sections or if you don't. I'm not saying that's true on every car because there's some stuff that's not, uh, you can't see it. like, And you just won't know it until you paint. And you're like, oh wait, why is that part of the car this color whenever uh, I didn't paint it that color? And you might see that it's not labeled in one of these sections. But uh, I usually don't paint any of the black section you want. I've, I've never had an issue, but I'm sure there's there's things out there that I don't know completely. But, uh, okay, so here's the right-hand side of the car. We have it all selected. Like I said, make sure you got the C5 uh, layer selected. I'm going to go ahead and hide this custom PNG. So now it's gone. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to paint it yellow also. Okay, so now you got the right-hand side of the car painted. I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, custom PNG back visible. And now we're going to paint the middle of the car, which will be the roof, the hood, and the top of the trunk lid. I'm going to paint it black. Get my lasso tool again. Make sure you have your C5 selected. Around here. Okay, so there's the middle part of the car selected. I'm going to go ahead and hide this layer. I'm going to paint this section black, so we'll go like this. 
Okay, so that is painted. Go ahead and make this visible again, the custom PNG. And I'm going to go ahead and paint these sections up here because I know it's the nose of the car. I'm going to paint those yellow also so it kind of runs with the fender around the front of the car. And like down here you're going to see like uh, this looks like the back bumper. This looks like the front bumper. And these will be miscellaneous pieces everywhere else. We'll get to those in a little bit. I don't want to get too much into detail. Just trying to keep this video kind of short. But I'll go ahead and do the front of the car. The nose piece. Paint those yellow. Like I said, make sure you got your C5 selected. Okay, so that's pretty rough estimate right there of a uh, paint skin, and now we're going to test it on the car. So here comes the big part. Uh, whatever you're seeing on your screen, that is what is going to appear on the car. So if I show this layer visible, that is what you're going to see on the car. So make sure you have whatever you don't want seen hidden. So I'm going to hide this custom PNG because I don't want the, all the wires on the car. So with that right there, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export As. And you have to uh, export these as TGA. In GIMP, as long as you put TGA at the end, .TGA, it will uh, export it as a TGA file. I'm not sure about Photoshop, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. And make sure you're in the right file, which you are. You're in Mods, your Painting Tutorial, whatever you name this file. Data, Vehicle, 01 American, and Art. Which it should automatically select this if you opened it straight like I did from that folder. And then you click Export. And Export. Minimize that, and here you go. You see your skin 01 underscore uh, C5, and it is a TGA file. As you can see right there, .tga. You're going to take your TGA file, and you're going to drag it over to the build asset. And what that will do, it'll build it over to a B-map and overwrite this one, the original one that's already on the car. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and open Wreckfest and let you see what it looks like right now without that. And then uh, we'll build it and I'll show you uh, what the new car looks like. Okay, now that we're done with the Eternity that is called the uh, loading screen of Wreckfest, uh, here we are. And as a reference as to what I was talking about earlier, when you're on your mod screen, if you have this mod selected that has the green star beside it, that it will not show what you're doing. So it will not, like if you painted a car and you have this mod selected, it will not show all the work that you did to the car. So make sure after you had copied and pasted the file into the mods folder, um, that is what will show up. It'll show up as paint skin tutorial, same name, without the green star beside it, which means it is in your mods, fo mods folder and it is not on the Steam Workshop. So make sure that is selected if it's not, uh, go ahead and select it. Your game will restart and it'll bring you back to the main screen. So here is uh, what the cars look like right now. Uh, yours might look a little different. I've already painted mine like in game. So I'm sure yours looks a little different. So there those are. So let's uh, go back to our files. Let's pull those back up. Uh, if you don't have two screens and you can't go to another screen, you can just press the window button. It'll pop these up and you can go over to your files. Open your tools and your art folder. Now we're going to do like I said before, we're going to take this TGA file and we're going to drag it over on top of build asset and it'll replace this bmap right here. You'll see the date uh, and the time change. There's the black box. It'll pop up. It's building it as we speak. You can see that that is modified right now at this time. It has replaced this. This is a new file. This is what you have painted, and this is what you will see on the car. So we'll just go ahead and minimize these two windows and check them out in the game. Make your come true. This is the 
should be one of these two. I can't remember which one. Oh, there it is. That is the file that we have painted. See, there's the uh, left hand side that we painted yellow. The middle is black. The right hand side is uh, yellow. And like I said, like this is the bumper up front. Like these are the little pieces that you'll just have to find in the paint. I'm pretty sure I know where this one's at, so we're going to go ahead and try it. But, I mean, that's a good start to the car. Now, uh, if you want to make adjustments to this and paint this, uh, you don't have to close the game. You can leave the game open. You can make the changes to the car, or on the paint job, I mean. Um, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And then whenever you rebuild it, you can just select another skin and go back to this skin, and it'll show your changes. That's something I didn't know about uh, for a long time when I was shutting down the game and restarting the game, and uh, I've wasted a lot of uh, time of my life doing that. So, uh, like I said, we'll just go ahead and pull up uh, the files that we were working on, uh, and we'll just put them over top of the game. We'll leave the game running. So there's our game. We're going to need to pull up GIMP. We're going to need to find a section somewhere that uh, we did not paint. Oh, maybe it's one of these sections since it looks like they have the lines in them. So we're just going to select this section right here on the uh, custom PNG. We're going to make that visible. Make sure you've got the C5 highlighted. And then we're going to select around these. Okay, we're going to paint these. Uh, probably yellow to match the sides of the car. So we'll go ahead and paint those. There you go. And we'll do exactly like we did before. We'll go to File, uh, Export As. Make sure that's the file, and it's going to ask if you want to replace it, which means you're overwriting your previous one, which, yes, we want to. So click Replace, Export. Minimize that. Pull up your files. And here is the new one. See how it's got a different time? It's the time that it is right now. That's what I just exported. So I'm going to drag this over top of Build Asset. And it's rebuilding it. You'll see this time change on this file. There it is. 31736. So this is your new file. Go ahead and minimize these and we'll check out the changes to the car. This helps a lot when you have two screens because you can move these two over to this, over to your left hand or whatever side uh, screen that you have. And it's not over top of your game so you don't have to minimize and open each time. But uh, for uh, tutorial purposes I just kept them on one page. Okay, so we're going to switch over to the Derby 2 skin. When we switch back over we should see some changes, hopefully. We did not. So we painted the wrong section of the car. We'll have to find that section. So, once again, pull this back up. So if I were to guess, I would say it's probably this piece right here. So I'm going to make sure you have your C5 selected. We're going to paint it. I'm going to paint it yellow. This is kind of tedious. It does take a little time to paint these cars, but I got that painted. I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Export As, Skin01 underscore C5 TGA, Export, Replace, yes. Oh, it got hidden. Hmm. Okay, Export. Pull your files back up. There's your new file. Drag it over on top of Build Asset. It's the same thing pretty much over and over. Just always grab your uh, TGAs and put them over your Build Assets and it'll build them to B-Maps. And there you go. Now we'll go to end game and check it out. Hopefully we got it this time. And there we go. It is painted. Uh, you can kind of play around with those uh, paint schemes. Get it to where you want it. Uh, that will replace usually the empty one, the one that has a circle with the line through it. But that's basically how you uh, paint the cars. And what that'll do, it'll replace the in-game skins. So uh, you can use it online. You will see it, but nobody else will. 
Uh, we will get to the more complex things later of uh, making them to where they stand out by themselves and they don't replace the skins. But once you start getting into that, then you uh, can't play online. So uh, once you've done that, that is pretty much it. There you go. You have your skin. And as long as you have that mod selected in the uh, mod section of your Rickfest, you will always see this skin on that car. Uh, each car will have to uh, be painted. It doesn't just uh, carry over to every car. So it's a, it's, it's a little tedious. But uh, if you like that sort of thing, it's kind of fun to mess with. It's something that we do pretty often over here in the WCZ. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot, a, shoot anything you uh, got. And we'll see what we can do to uh, help you out. I'm going to continue to make some videos uh, to get more complex. Like we'll start working on uh, some of the S files. Oh, and one more thing. Let me go ahead and pull these files back up. Um, once you are done and you like the way that your car looks in Wreckfest, you're going to want to make a copy of this file. So just right click and copy and place somewhere, anywhere outside of this folder. I'm going to place it over here. I usually keep these two windows, the tools and art folder right beside each other just because it's easy to work with. I'm going to right click over here and paste it. See this file is the same as this file. You're going to rename this one as what this damage file is so that whenever you hit something on track it still looks exactly the same. Uh, none of your paint will look any different. You have to do this, it's not optional. Or if you do hit something, it'll revert to the old skin and it'll look really funky on your screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to the skin01 underscore damaged underscore C5. Once you renamed it, just drag it back over here and it'll replace this file so you'll see this date and time change. Ask if you wanna replace it, click replace. And there you have it. See so your Skin 01 C5 B map and your Skin 01 Damage C5 B map. That is a paint skin done in Wreckfest. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, just join the Discord or send me a message. Uh, you can ask uh, in the video below if you want to. That's fine. I, I can answer that too. I'm just quicker on Discord, so if you uh, if you are ever over there, that's the place to find me, really. Uh, just join the Discord, and we'll get right back to your questions as soon as we can. I hope you enjoyed the tor tutorial, and uh, I'll make a lot more later. I'm going to start getting really into depth on some of this stuff. This is just a basic replacing skins kind of mod. So, Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.